Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 5, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, also along with this episode, they release a new trailer for next week's Flash episode, and also the crossover, so I'm going to combine that video and do it later today, so please be on the lookout for that. That's going to post a few hours after this official review for episode 5. So let's get right ahead into this video. So this episode was a very solid episode. I had no problems with it at all. Maybe one bit where I was like, eh, I don't know. But overall, keeping up that consistent tone, it was a bit less exciting than the past few episodes. But I won't hold it down on that because it was very, very solid. There was no like gaping holes in the episode. So let's get right ahead and talk about some of the stuff that happened in the episode so we had the villain of the episode ragdoll he was really really creepy like the guy in real life the actor is insanely creepy I got shivers watching him and hearing the sound effects and the meta powers they gave him like it was actually the actor doing that stuff but obviously he couldn't flatten his hand and they used that contortion ability that the guy has in real life to create this extremely creepy meta and I thought it really worked for the brief amount of time he was in the episode and so the main part of the episode is about Nora and Iris and by the end of the episode we get a really nice moment between them and their problems are solved for now so presumably there's not going to be too much friction like there has been since episode one and it was all thanks to Cecile guys I've got a big announcement to make just quickly talking about Cecile please be sure to go over to discussing film I actually did an interview with Cecile's actor Danielle Nicolette and that will be up sometime hopefully later today so please be sure to subscribe there because I've done about three interviews one with the Punisher actor and also one to do with Lego Batman so that's a nice little teaser in this video please be sure to subscribe to Discussing Film to not miss those interviews we get some nice information about the upcoming episodes of The Flash so if you don't want to miss that exclusive interview, please be sure to subscribe to Discussing Film. And so talking about Cecile, she was like the main person who helped Nora in this episode and sort of made her see that Iris isn't just that Iris that she knows in the future. There is a lot more to her. There's a lot more stories. And I really like that touch in the episode. And so as the story goes on with Ragdoll, Barry gets kidnapped and Ralph who I've actually been kind of liking this season. Like, he wasn't anything too special in this episode, but, you know, I haven't had a problem with Ralph this season, and he does a massive comic book easter egg, and that is when he is swinging like Spider-Man. I thought that was a really nice touch, although the CGI is a bit off. It was just a nice reference to Marvel and Spider-Man because I'm a massive Spider-Man fan, so it was satisfying to see. And so also additionally to do with the Iris and Barry part of the episode, which is the main part of the episode, we get a really nice scene with them together as they are dancing and some just nice little moments with them working together because Iris is doing her reporting and Barry is doing his job as a CSI and it sort of works and they are able to spend time together and I really really do like those moments and I think Iris is really good this season I've been really enjoying Iris so the other part of the episode that I want to talk about is the other part to do with Caitlin and so throughout this episode her Cisco and some other characters follow clues in order to find Caitlin's dad and by the end of the episode they can supposedly find her dad and he's on one of the Tannhauser black sites and so they're going to confront him later next episode as the trailer suggests and one element that I really liked which they implemented in regards to how Killer Frost became Killer Frost was the influence from the ice goddess Keon and I really did like seeing that like sort of comparison between how Killer Frost actually looks like and how she looks like because they are very very similar and obviously her dad doing his experiments obviously taking influence from this ice goddess and potentially maybe he thought Caitlyn's other side of herself, Killer Frost's side, is potentially part of the Ice Goddess. I don't know, but I really enjoyed that part of the episode. Also along with these different references, there's a Supergirl reference with Iris in the episode. Also, there's a Gotham City reference. And also, if you look carefully, they focus in on the picture frame that was that was in the crossover trailer the other day, and I think that's definitely done on purpose to draw attention to that. And also, the repeated mentions of Gotham, 
Supergirl. It's all building up to the crossover and I really did like those parts of the episode so look forward to that in the coming future and also along with Caitlyn's story we have Cisco's story. Cisco's powers are being essentially dampened by Cicada's metal that is still stuck inside of him so essentially he's not able to use his powers without extreme pain. There was some really nice Cisco and Caitlyn moments. In the past few seasons we've had a lack of those so I really do treasure those moments as well. And so the last part of the episode that I want to talk about was the Iris scene when she jumps off the building. This was the one part when after the moment I was like, what the hell? I was laughing. Like, that genuinely made me crack up. Um, I didn't have a problem with it, but I thought it was rather ridiculous and I kind of admire them for doing it. So what do you think of that moment? I thought it was kind of fun. I laughed out loud. It was pretty funny anyway. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really did enjoy this episode. It was a solid episode. So please be sure to look out for my crossover and next episode video later today. Also please be sure to go to Discussing Film and subscribe so you don't miss those exclusive interviews in the next coming days. I do one with Danielle Nicolette who plays Cecile. She teases some stuff coming up in the new Flash episode. So anyway guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.